Hey guys, and welcome back to another Coden Exiles video. Today we are in the frozen north of the Exiled Lands, on a hill just west of Islet Lake, building a black ice house. I haven't really built many things up here in the frozen north, but it is an interesting and diverse location to build, with plenty of locations for a wide variety of build designs, so I definitely want to start building more things up here in the future. Today's build is designed as a small yet fairly comfortable home for a couple of exiles. This house is well positioned in the north, with easy access to the plains, plateaus and vistas surrounding the house, which will serve as the perfect hunting grounds for the house's residents, due to the abundance of various animals around the home, including elk and of course mammoths. This house's design is fairly standard, with a divot around the centre line of the build in terms of height to keep it looking unique. It's also connected to an outer tower which will serve as a workstation and will help to avoid mixing the work areas with the more domestic areas of the build. So without further ado, let's get started. Firstly we'll be starting off with the base plate. I'll build a 5x9 base plate with two divots on the smaller sides for stairs. I also placed down some walls to work out exactly where I wanted the house to sit, then placing fences around the perimeter and then placing awnings around the walls of the house. Next for the walls of the house itself. I built the walls of the ground floor three tiles high, then going inside and building up the stairs inside to reach the first floor. I then used ceilings to cover and extend out the size of the first floor by one tile on each side, sitting above the awnings. I built the walls of the first floor two tiles high, and then building a roof mount to a flat apex capped off with wall caps. I also went underneath the first floor on the outside of the build and used ramps, inverted corners and inverted sloped sides to better transition the size increase on the first floor. I then built the roof, using black ice sloped roof and rooftop pieces to create a simple roof design. Next for the tower. I removed a single awning and ramp on the west side of the house, using ceilings to stretch out to where I wanted the tower to sit, roughly about four tiles away from the main house itself. I used foundations to keep the snap points correct to build the tower, which would be made from a two-tier circular foundation structure. The tower will have three floors, with one entrance across the bridge I made earlier. I built the bridge between the house and the tower using ceilings and walls, then placing fences on the top side of the bridge. 
there is a hollow space inside the bridge and I will use that later on for a storage section on the bottom floor, which you'll see more of in the furnishing stage. I built each floor using regular and wedge ceilings mirroring the foundations below, and then using stairs to connect each floor, capping the tower off with a flat roof. Finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to of course furnish. Approaching the build, I've lit the house with witch fire torches to suit the surrounding environment, along with blue banners on the tower. The area surrounding the house has a great view across the frozen north, especially over Islet Lake. Entering the house, the lounge is a compact yet comfortable area, with plenty of storage options along with a table and chairs in front of the fireplace. Heading upstairs, I've separated this floor into two different rooms. Firstly, on the left we have the kitchen, a well-stocked room for cooking and preparing meals, along with storing food and drinks for future use. Heading across the corridor is the bedroom, a comfortable and spacious bedroom using the new bed from the debaucheries of Decato DLC. It also has some small storage options along with a writing desk in the corner. Heading out the door and onto the bridge, this small passage provides a nice view across either side of the build. Heading into the tower, each floor is a workshop for specific thralls doing their specific jobs, with plenty of access to facilities to create, repair and maintain items for the home.
The hollow section of the bridge I mentioned earlier is on the bottom floor, and serves as a small storage compartment, which works great for storing resources for the thralls tending to the workstations. And there we have it, a black ice house in the frozen north, just west of the Islet Lake. Thanks for watching, it's nice to get some smaller, more simple builds done sometimes, as opposed to some of the bigger builds I've done recently, though I do also enjoy the bigger builds. If you have enjoyed this video leave a like, and let me know in the comments below if you have any build suggestions for future videos, as usual absolutely anything is welcome. Also, you may have noticed I've rebranded the channel recently with some new channel art and such, along with a new outro screen at the end of this video. Do feel free to let me know what you think in the comments below, I've been wanting to change things up for a while and I'm curious what you guys think. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch and join the fun on our Discord through the links in the description, and if you'd like to support the future of this channel, the link to my Patreon is also in the description below with various tiers and rewards including special Discord roles, sneak peeks at new videos, your name at the end of videos and more. On that note, a thanks to our patrons Sammy, Doomshade and Dawnfox. If you're new here, feel free to check out the rest of the content on the channel. There are new Cone Nexiles videos coming every Wednesday and Sunday, so if you like what you see, subscribe and ring the notification bell to be the first to see the next video, and to join us on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Again thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.